Hello everybody and welcome to a new Ross questions and answers video. In the video of today we are going to be checking this question here I found in Ross answers which is custom gazebo world doesn't load and he says I created a custom gazebo world for my turtle bot containing several worlds and saved it as a world file, dot world file. However when I run the world the word file using the following command, the words that I created do, do not load, just the title word loads. Okay, so here uh, may be several errors, but this user hasn't posted his word file, so it's hard to tell what can be happening in this case, but what I'm going to do is to uh, simply show a very simple, simple example of how we can load a, a title word robot in a world with walls. Okay, a very very simple example. So maybe this way I can help this user to see what's going on. Okay, so let's go. I'm going to be using RDS as always and here I basically have a, a TurtleBot simulation. I can go here to the IDE and I have here the TurtleBot gazebo package. Okay, and basically what I'm doing now here is launching this main.launch file which is loading the empty dot world okay which is a, a, a simple world empty world with nothing in it as you can see just the the ground plane the floor yeah so i'm loading this empty uh, world which is right here yeah and as you can see it's a very very simple world it just contains uh, the sun a ground plane and here we have some uh, five six uh, configurations okay then how can i add a wall to this world first of all let's create a copy of this one i'm going to copy it and create a duplicate of this world there we are and then let's rename it for instance, let's call it uh, wall.world, okay? Then, here I have my empty world. Let's open our wall world, which will be this one. And then let me just a moment switch these to... Okay, there we are. Here we can visualize it now. I have switched the mode to XML. So, what can we do now in order to have a wall here in this uh, empty world. Very simple. I'm going to put here inside the world tag, I'm going to add a model of a world. I have here an example which I'm going to paste here and I'm going to show it to you now. And here it is. Yeah, so I have include here this model tag, which is uh, very simple. I will, I will show it now. Yeah, so basically I have this model with a name, which in this case is Brickbox313, okay? Then I define here uh, the, the, the link name, which is chassis in this case, okay? Then I set here the pose frame, the pose in the world where I want this wall to be, okay? Then I have to define, as always in any model, two tags, the collision and the visual, yeah? The collision basically will define how this uh, world, how this model is physically, yes? How the robot will collide, for instance, with this model, and the shape, the physical shape of this model will be a, a simple box of these dimensions, three, one, and three, okay? These are X, Y, Z. This will be the physical dimensions of this model, okay? Then basically yeah, here I have a max content, which are the maximum number of contents I want this model to have. Then here I define the visual, which is basically how this model will look, how we will see it. And here I am loading some meshes. Yes, here I have a die file. And also here some materials that basically this define how you are going to visualize to see this model okay 
Then finally, I just have here some other attacks, the velocity decay, the self-collide, kinematic, gravity, which are some uh, default values. This gravity tag, for instance, indicates if this model is going to be affected by gravity, okay? So if this model is going to have uh, self-collisions, for instance, these are some default values. So this is not very, very important. But as you can see, it's a, a very simple model. I just define the, 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 the pose where I want this model to be, the collisions, and the visuals, okay? As any regular model. Then once I have this, I can save this world file, okay? And then I just have to tell the launch file to select this world. So I'm going to come here to the main.launch and here instead of the empty world, let's put the world.world, okay? So now when I execute this launch file, I'm going to be loading this world I have modified where I have this model, okay? With this wall that will be uh, box shaped like this and that will be loaded into this pose in the world, okay? This is X, Y, Z, row, pitch, yaw, okay? This model is here, this value is here. So, let's come here and launch again our main.launch file from the Tartarbot Gazebo package. Here we have it. So, let's launch again this main.launch and wait a few seconds until the the world loads. And here it is. As you can see here we have now our wall. Yes? This is the wall we have defined in our uh, world file. Yes, so as you can see it has an 3 per 1 per 3 dimensions, yeah? This is the x 3 per 3, which is the z, and the y is 1, okay? So this is, these are the dimensions of our wall, which we are defining here, and the visuals, yes? The visuals with the die file and the textures which is how we are visualizing uh, this wall, yeah, this uh, brick texture. This is defined in the visual tag, okay? And here, of course, now uh, I have one wall, but I can add as many walls as I want. I can add another wall down here, for instance, and let's add another one here, which is in the, I don't know, and five, let's set it like this. And let's relaunch the world here again. Talk about Gazivo, main.launch. There we are. And here I have my other wall, yeah? I can place as many walls as I want. But as you can see, it's, it's uh, quite simple. Just you need to add a model here into the world file, define the collision, the visual, some default values if you want to. And that's it, okay? So, well, I hope I have helped you a, a little bit. And please, if you have liked the video, uh, leave a like and subscribe because we publish a video almost every day. And I'm sure you won't regret it. So goodbye and see you in the next video.